Guys, this is TNT Barbecue. I'm out here. I'm going to show you what I'm doing today. It's going to be my version of a poor man ribeye. So, uh, I, was doing, I was wondering how can I get this ribeye dressed up the way I want it. But guys, here, this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm using a chuck eye, actually. It's a chuck eye um, roast. It's basically the steaks I used in my last videos. But it's not cut up in steaks, it's cut up in chuck eyes. I already pre-seasoned it with the uh, Greek seasoning and, and the fajita seasoning, the one I always use. So I'm going to start a um, a basket weave here, guys. So let, let, let's get with the bacon basket weave, okay? So let's start that. I'm using some thin strips of bacon out here. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to layer. I'm, I think I'm going to go four across right here, guys. Four across. And uh, I use thin strips of bacon because of thick stuff. It can get a little overpowered and it don't adhere as much as this thin, flimsy stuff bacon. Uh, that's just in my experience. And this crisps up a little better. So I think I go, okay, four across. I think that'll be enough. So I probably. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here, and what I do is I start here, the middle piece go over like here, and this right here goes right here, okay? So that's how I'm going to start this right here, guys, okay? I'm just going to do it like that, guys, okay? So that's how we're going to do it, okay? So I'm going to go here again, like here. I'm just going to go under here, like here, over that. I'm going to go under here, like here. You can do four, seven, however you want to do it, guys. I don't want it to be all about the bacon. I want the beef to shine through, so I'm doing like a simple basket weed. I'm not going to get all um, technical with it, so I go here, here. Over here, and I'm going over here, guys. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna continue this method, guys, right here for y'all that never seen it before happen. And then I'll bring in the star of the show. So uh, I lay it right here. I go here, get a little closer. I go here, over there, under here. And over there so <clears throat> trying to scoot this back a little bit right here so I get the bacon all kind of tight and it's gonna tighten up guys like I say so I'm gonna go over that under I'm gonna stretch out a little bit over under again and you can stretch this little thin bacon out right here guys okay so like I say guys it's a cheap bacon right here so I'm gonna go under again over under going under I may add another strip to the to the side of it guys right here so I can have a little, little more length to it so this is a pound of bacon you know I'm gonna go right here again I'm gonna go over under over under all right so what I'm gonna do out there I'm gonna add the last piece of bacon to the edge so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go right here I'm gonna go under that there over I'm gonna go under that right there 
on that, I'm going to go over, under, over, under. Yeah, that one, that one kind of in a little bit, so let's bring out the start of the show. The start of the show, guys. That's it right there, guys. This is a chuck eye. So, I'm going to just place that chuck eye right here, guys, in the middle. I was going to tie it up with butcher yarn and do all that. But I had it marinating overnight. I seasoned it with the Greek seasoning and all that good stuff. So, I'm just going to go ahead and try to uh, get that wrapped up like here, guys. So, get that wrapped up like so. Bit folding that stuff in like that, folding in like that, like such. And so, you see that, guys? That's what I'm gonna have right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in a deep freezer and let it get cold. So I'm going to put all this right here in here, so I am going to get this coal so I can put it on the smoker. So I got a chuck eye roast, it weighs approximately four and a half pounds, and I'm going to smoke this on my pit smoker. I have a uh, Brickman vertical smoker I'm going to put it on there approximately two hours and 30 minutes internal temperature reaches 150 ish and I'm going to let it go guys so I'm going to roll this up and I'm going to uh, put this in the deep freezer and uh, let the um, bacon in here to the meat a little bit more let it get a little stiffer and when you come back with me I'll be outside in the cold in the freezing weather guys I'd like to give a special uh, thanks to my buddy um, Turbo Q and my buddy Lyle over on the hippie barbecue GQ barbecue Southern Coastal Cooking Arbok aka Daddy Cook you know, all these guys inspired me to step up my game. So here you go, guys. I'm finna, uh, next time I come back with you, we'll have a finished product. I'm putting this, um, I'm gonna call this Poor Man Prime Rib. So it's gonna be Poor Man's Prime Rib, guys. So this is a, a, a Chuck Eye Roast bacon wrap, and we finna bring it back to you. God bless you and God bless America. We out of here. Guys, this is TNT Barbecue. I'm out here. The weather is approximately 15 degrees. Um, guys, compared to lately, this is some good weather. Well, guys, I'm out here with the poor man. Um, I would say uh, bacon, basket weed wrap, poor man's prime rib. So, I'm about to take this top off the smoker. And um, we finna um, do something right here. You know, guys, I want to talk about before I throw the main uh, greetings on. I want to talk a little bit about um, um, lately, what, what I've been learning lately. Okay, I'm using a, a JB method. Uh, thank you, JB, for showing me this. I got briquettes, uh, grill briquettes inside of the water pan on this smoker. So I can have more insulated heat so it's, instead of and I got it covered with aluminum foil and I'm using a um, mesquite lump wood to start this and it started is up the temperature and guys I'm gonna pull out the start of the show guys right here oh lord that's the star right there guys hope y'all can see that this is that chuck eye roast off the um, ribeye roast, that yeah, 
I'm gonna see if you get a better uh, camera view of this. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So this is going on the smoker. I got I got uh, basket weave. So uh, I want to talk a little bit, guys, about um, what I season this with, guys. I season it with um, coarse black pepper, steak seasoning, and Greek seasoning. And uh, a, a steak season I got from Curry Q, Montreal steak season on there, and I got all that season up under the bacon, and I got a basket weed bacon. I learned off from my my boy K Ray uh, watching his videos. It's like making a fatty, but instead it's just wrapped up. Pretty much, you're gonna do it. Gonna add a another layer of flavor to it, and I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up. And guys, I want to tell you something. Um, I've been doing a lot of videos throughout the last three or four years when I was on YouTube, and I, I always had problems when I made a lot of videos just to make one video, part one, part two. I got with a uh, no hippie barbecue. Look up under my uh, description, you will see uh, his uh, channel. Subscribe to that brother. So I'm telling you what, guys, he has truly helped me out with my videos. On editing, editing them and uh, how to do certain things, which I wasn't uh, hip to. But you know, I've been watching like Arbok, Kirby Q. You know, all those guys have came together and helped me have better quality videos. Um, so uh, you know, I just like to say, what up, No Hippie Barbecue? Subscribe to his channel, guys. I'm telling you, man, you'll learn a lot. The guy does a lot of cooking. He's out there in Colorado, in the cold, cooking for us on YouTube. Showing us what things about, you know. So, um, like I said, look at the description. And guys, that that fatty, that 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 bacon wrap, um, chuck eye roast is going on. So I'm gonna cover it up with the old Brickman, um, uh, smoking grill. And I got like uh some I got like I said mesquite. I got one lump of hardwood, apple wood on there, uh, a log. That fits inside of it. And guys, like I say, guys, I'm going to let this smoke to the internal temperature about 165, 170. Because I want my medium well. And uh, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to slice it up for y'all guys. And y'all going to say, wow, T, that look good. It's going to be juicy. It's going to be moist. It's going to be awesome. So um, I'm doing these videos for y'all guys out there in the YouTube land. Uh, La Hippie. Uh, he hooked me up with a, a, a No Hippies Barbecue. Hooked me up with a good, a great place to edit my videos. And um, I will be uh, putting pretty much, uh, get him a shout out because of that, guys. Because like I said, guys, I, I was just basically making one video after another one. And he showed me a place where I could go on his website. I could download the videos and pretty much uh, make a shorter video. So... Instead of taking me eight hours to download well, three videos, it takes me like 15 minutes. I can download two videos, and then I can edit it in YouTube and make one video instead of making four videos trying to do it in all these different takes. So, you know, I'm learning out here, guys, but that's what YouTube is all about. It's about sharing, learning, and I got a tip to pass on to y'all guys. So, if you got an electric smoker, gas smoker, Whatever smoker you got, this is what you should do, guys. Do y'all see these right here? That is onions. Okay, onions, guys, okay? Just regular onions. You get this. You open up your smoker. And and I just, like, uh, put them in here, guys. Right, right in the smoker, right in the fire. And, guys, let me tell you something. Um, you talking flavor? And the smell, oh my goodness, it just, it smells incredible. And I just close it up. And I let it go. So, if you really want to uh, do something to uh, to um, add flavor to your wood and to your meat, uh, I would recommend put onions into your fire. Second recommendation is um when you smoke your meat and you want a nice smoke ring on your beef or your pork 
try to make sure your pork is cold or beef is cold before you put it in the smoker. Uh, it ought to be froze, but make sure it has a uh, a cold temperature and that'll absorb the smoke. And like I say, the more slower you bring the meat up the temperature, it, the more smoke penetrates in the meat. So if you put a brisket on or like I'm saying, I'm putting this uh, prime rib on, chuck eye prime rib, poor man's prime rib on, I am putting it in a colder temperature. So instead of having it room temperature, I just take it out of the refrigerator, I put it back in, let it get cooled down again after I wrapped it with bacon. And it keeps me from using toothpicks and stuff because it kind of stiffens up. And uh, once it start melting down and rendering, you will see the turnout, guys, a golden brown turnout. So this TNT barbecue with a southern supposed to taste. God bless you. God bless America. We out of here. Thank you, Lyle from No Hippie Barbecue, for helping me out. I hope y'all enjoy my tips. My tips is put some uh, onions inside of your firebox or your vertical smoker in your master bill or whatever. Put some onions in there and let that onion burn and you will have extra flavor. Cause you know it just it's just a trick I learned. And I've been doing it for years and years, so hopefully y'all take my advice and try it out. All right, peace. God bless you. All right, this TNT barbecue with a southern explosive taste. I'm out here, guys. Look at that, guys. Cameraman, can you come in a little close? Look at that, guy. That is when the the the, the it, it's getting it to the color I want. I'm, I'm gonna keep smoking, guys. Uh. I'm shooting for an internal temperature of um, 170 to 160. We out here in the cold. The smoker is doing pretty good. You can see that thin blue smoke. If the camera person can turn and come right here on the bottom of it. And we'll see. Guys, look at that, guys. I got that thing burning pretty good, guys. I got smoke going out that thing. I got the wood chunks and stuff in there. I got the I got the uh, the uh, onions and the wood um, burning pretty good. So uh, let's talk right now, guys, about barbecue. I'm out here in the cold for y'all buddies out there in YouTube land. And guys, like I say, guys, you can't be denied about how good this barbecue is out here. TNT putting out for you. I'm doing this for my guys out there in YouTube land. Like I say, guys, please subscribe to myself TNT barbecue subscribe to Kirby Q GQ barbecue subscribe to uh, all my guys out there at YouTube land um, southern coastal cooking uh, Joe uh, subscribe Tango Joe subscribe to him uh, Kirby Q K Ray uh, GQ barbecue um, you know uh, I got many many more people that um, that I'm big fans of, my boy JB, he got a lot of subscribers. But, like I said, if you're not subscribed to him, check him out too. These are the people that I truly, truly, truly admire, and they help me. I'm using part of JB method right now. I have some um, briquettes inside of my uh, water pan with aluminum foil wrapped around it. That keeps the smoker insulated, that keeps it hot, that keeps it uh, doing what it's supposed to do. So like I say guys, this TNT barbecue with a southern is supposed to taste. Guys, this TNT barbecue. I'm gonna do a short video of how the prime rib turned out, guys. Look at that though, guys. You see that though? Look at that juicy guys. And look at this guys. Oh look at that guys. You see it. Do you see what I'm talking about, guys? And look at that juice, guys. Look at that juice. Mm-hmm. And look at that smoke ring, buddy. That smoke ring is also off the hook. Yep. That's TNT barbecue right there, guys. Bacon wrapped. And I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of it right here, like, guys. So I'm going to take a bite of this, guys, and let me tell you how it tastes, okay? Mmm. I'm not going to lie to you. And that is so good. That's one of the best things that I didn't put in my mouth that I have made this year. Mmm. Man. 
chunk out. Wrapped in bacon. Basket weed. Try it, guys. My goodness, my goodness. Oh, yes. This is awesome. I thank God. Man, this is so good, guys. I mean, it is so good. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you guys, this is like, this is so heavenly, guys. I surprised myself today. I just wanted to get y'all with the finished product. Thank y'all. Please subscribe to my channel. This is TNT Barbecue. Watch my video of how this happened and get the results. I wanted it well. Um, I cooked it to 170 because the kids don't like bloody meat. So this is so good, guys. Juicy, moist, great smoke flavor. Mmm, man, this beef is outstanding. Guys, I, I want to just say thanks to Lyle and No Hippie Barbecue. Um, he hooked me up with this, this website called Handbrake, and now I can make videos. It doesn't take me all day to download them on YouTube. So, there we go, guys. Like I said, guys, man, that is good, right there, man. Oh, my goodness. Peace. Love y'all guys out there in YouTube land. See you later. Adios, baby.